Hey and welcome to this mini series about the teleprompter app IQ. If this is the first video that you're watching, make sure to check out the whole playlist with all the videos. It's linked up on the top right corner. Let's move on to files. And this is basically where you select the text that you want to see on the teleprompter. And you have different functionalities. You can export the text, but you can also import text. Let's uh, just quickly through go through the functions here. So you can add a new text and let's call it, I just clicked on the plus sign, new. And then you can edit the text, basically click on done. And you have an empty page and you could start typing in right here. And there are a few things that are really not so cool. One of the things is now all the bars are on the top. The menu of the teleprompter app is behind the battery sign, as you can see, or you might see it, and you can't select everything, anything. It's basically blocked. So what do you gotta do now, unless you have something else that you come up with, the cheat sheet, is close the app and reopen it. Super annoying and I don't like that one. As I said, you have created a new file and you can go and edit this file by typing in your teleprompter text, which is not the way to do it because this takes forever, right? You want to write this on a computer. Sorry, let's go back here, perfect. So the way to do, to do it is actually select a text and import it from the computer. And then just go to the sign here and choose multiple ways to import text, either through the iTunes application, through iCloud Drive, Dropbox, Google Drive, web server, another um, device with uh, IQ FTP. I found that through I iCloud, it's so far the easiest. So you can click on it. It will automatically log you in and then you can select one of the texts. I have one here. Um, let's do, I don't know. Let's choose test text, this guy. It doesn't show you that it's downloaded, but once you see this screen, it actually is. And you can go back and it is right there, selected already. Everything is named the same, sorry, but it's the teleprompter test text. And we can just click on done and have a look at it. So you can see that the formatting is not ideal, but we will work on this a little bit later. But you can also export things to the drive and you can choose either a IQ file, a RTF, HTML or TXT text file. And let's do that one real quick. If I click on the RTF and then select wherever you want to export this stuff to, okay? In addition, you have the loop. You can look for a script, test, and search for it. Obviously, that's the ones I have right here. Uh, and you can copy or paste attributes, make a template, backup database, or open a database. Let's move on because otherwise we will never end with this beautiful thing. I'm going to delete one file just so you see this works too. This guy is important to lock the text. This one prevents you from editing the text. You can tap on the screen and nothing is going to happen. Um, if it is on the editing, let's do that one now, then you will see once I tap, it's going to bring up the keyboard and I can kind of adjust everything, which is nice. Let's look into that one right now. So let's say I want to highlight, oh, there's a mistake here. It says plan. I want to highlight the word plan to emphasize this while I'm talking about it. So I'm going to select it and then you can make a lot of different choices here. You can underline, or cross it, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. 
um, but you can kind of go here and select another color um, or another background. Let's say the background is going to be a white. Whatever it is, this doesn't make a lot of sense in terms of the design, but um, I have some presets. Hopefully they're still here. Yeah, this one we just did beforehand. You can click on this one and then it jumps to that one. Moving on. So let's lock the text and click done. That's the end for this video, but the series continues. So just click on the next video about this app. And more importantly, click on the box that's appearing magically right now to get my free tutorial on how I write my scripts on the computer and how I transfer them to this app. If you like the app, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any other app recommendation or if you found out anything else about this app, please comment. I'm always happy to hear from you. Take care and see you the next time.